In this video, I'll use the matrix features in origin to generate a time series anomaly plot. I have previously imported two time period matrix stacks from the same sea surface temperature net CDF file. The month of July from 1920 to 2020 and the 1981 to 2010 climate normal period. The first thing I'll do is to calculate the mean of the climate normal period matrix stack. I'll activate the matrix stack and from the analysis menu select descriptive statistics. In the dialog I'll select recalculate to auto and select the mean as the quantity. Next I'll output to a new matrix sheet and click OK. I'll partially rename the new sheet containing the mean values. Now I need to generate anomalies by subtracting the mean of the climate normal period from the 1920 to 2020 data. From the analysis menu I'll select mathematics subtract. In the dialog I'll set the recalculate mode to auto. The subtraction involves two components A and B. B will be subtracted from A. I want to subtract the mean data from the 1920 to 2020 data so I'll select that as A and the mean data as B. I'll select a new sheet for the output. Lastly, I select Active Matrix in B and click OK. I'll rename the new sheet Anomalies. Observe that the matrix stack contains the same number of matrices as the 1920 to 2020 stack. Now I'll add a region of interest to the anomalies matrix stack, placing it along the eastern seaboard of the United States. I'll right click on the ROI and select Intensity Profile. For this type of data, an intensity profile generates a time series. I'll accept the defaults and click OK. A new workbook has been created containing the time series data. Now I'll create an anomaly plot from a graph template I had previously created. The data in the anomaly plot comes from the time series intensity profile which in turn is linked to the ROI on the anomaly matrix stack. Observe that as I move or resize the ROI, the anomaly plot automatically updates. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.